good morning and we have a motor scooter today it's a nice little brand new yamaha that we rented it's about a hundred thousand ir a day which is pretty damn cheap and we're gonna go exploring not sure where we're going but we are going and so are you if you continue watching this video see you there That's the little store that we went to yesterday. And this, I believe, is the public beach that they all pay for to come down to. There's like a park entry fee of 25,000 IR. And they, they seem to come down here for the whole day. Yesterday was a holiday, so there was a lot of people here. Today, I believe it's only like nine o'clock, so it's really early. Not so many, I think a lot of people go back to work. Not sure. To us, it doesn't really matter. Every day is the same. But you can see, you get a sense of how many cottages there are here. And of course they serve food out in each one of these things. Evelyn Cafe. Now, you want to know that all these cottages are very, very basic, and you'd be lucky if you even had a ceiling fan. Maybe not even a mosquito net. I am not sure. I mean, you already know what we have. We have air conditioning. Hello, good morning. So, this is... Quite primitive, extremely cheap. You'd be hard pressed to be spending more than $25 a night here. We are $25 a night with air conditioning and breakfast. Jeannie, did you say that this beach is five kilometers long? I think so. Oh, you're on the other side. Okay. Five, yes. five kilometers long. Good morning. I can only imagine in season how busy this place is. Anyway, you get the idea of where we're staying now, the area. So I am going to cut it here for now. So we did go to the end and we turned around. And on the way back, we decided to stop here because the music was so phenomenally good that we figured we'd spend some time. Here's a look at our little Yamaha 125 Mio. And then Nagurblo Beach. Beautiful sunny day.
So we got our way back to Three Maria, and now we're gonna go the other way, since there is actually paved road. We need to take a look at this, because this looks really nice. Casa de Stella, and we know Stella. So, next door to Three Maria is uh, Stella's place, Casa de Stella, and she's gonna show us around here too. So, if you come here, this is also another option. And it looks quite beautiful. This is the dining room, and with the room, you get free breakfast? Yes, I have breakfast. Free breakfast? Yes, free breakfast. Okay. I have two rooms. So Stella said we could come in and take a quick look at one of her rooms, and I just need to take a quick, I just have to rinse the sand off of my toes real quick before we do that. So I don't want to drag sand in there. Okay, we're good. And both these room, rooms are exactly the same. So I will just show you this one because I know it's all set. You come in here and here's beautiful Stella right here. Hi. Your host, your passionate host. <laughs> and it has a Be oh, it smells so clean in here. Beautiful queen-size bed. It might even be larger. Air conditioning. And a sink. And a western toilet. And a beautiful shower. And to note, look, there's electricity outlets on both sides. So you're all set to plug in everything. We think this is very, very nice. And thank you so much for showing us this. Thank you for coming to Casa de Stella. And if you go to the end of the road and you take a right right here, there's a restaurant and it's actually walking distance. We'll take a quick spin over there so that we can kind of recon it for tonight for our dinner. But we saw many people eating here last night. There was much music and merriment And this is it. We'll I'm going up here. Go up the hill, turn around. Looks like they might even have places for you to stay there. And you can actually go out on the dock as well. Which I am not because there's a huge step right there. So I can't ride out. So we can walk out. We can walk out. So we'll cut it here and we'll walk out. We also saw many people walk out here on this pier yesterday. I couldn't see if they were fishing or just enjoying the sight like we are doing right now. This footage should be pretty damn good because we are really backlit. The water is just beautiful here. I'm scratching my head here what the purpose of this dock is because there's no way any big boat is pulling up here even at high tide because the water's too shallow. You could jump off, go swimming, and then climb right back up there. 
Yeah, it's very, very shallow. So what we were told is this dark area is kind of like seaweed type of stuff. But once you get past the blue water and then into the next dark water, then there's coral reef for snorkeling. And it's pretty easy to get out. I imagine here you'd need your water shoes on. Yeah, it looks still pretty soft. I don't think that looks like coral. but. You don't want to walk all the way out there. No, it is a long walk when you could probably those get any of these fishermen to take you out there for really cheap. And from here, you can see that's where we are right over there. Really close walking distance, like I said. Very nice, beautiful day. Nice wind, cool things down, great morning to go for a ride. We'll do some swimming and some sun tanning later on. Oh, this water is very refreshing after that motorcycle ride. Casa di Stella and Tria Maria. Jeannie's doing a little sunbathing over there. We're gonna have a little dinner here at the 10 Cafe and Resto restaurant and hopefully see a beautiful sunset. Mmm. -hmm.